Hello everyone, in today's episode we're going to see how to do damage to our AI, so according to the value that we put in each of our weapons, as you can see here, if I shoot at the AI in the top left corner, we see that the AI has 80 left out to remain, and so there is nothing, and when there is nothing left, the AI is going to get destroyed. So we're going to see how to do damage using our line trace system. First thing, we need to make sure that our weapon that we use in our game has a number assigned to it for the damage. So we're going to open the assault rifle, and under the damage, we're going to make sure that we put a number. So I put 10 for this one, so we can compile and close it up. So now we're going to go back and do the same process for our shotgun. So damage for shotgun, I put 50, compile, and we can close that. And we're going to go back to our sniper rifle. And I put 100 here because I want the sniper rifle to be a one-shot kill. And I'm going to compile and close this. The next thing to do is going to our NPC master. And under the viewport, we're going to use the capsule component that we see here to apply the damage to our AI. So if we search in a detail panel collision, under the collision preset, we're going to custom. And we need to make sure that we do have those value here as we're going to use the channel for the camera to apply our damage we need to make sure that this one is blocked so when we're going to shoot with our line trace it's going to block here which the capsule component will take the hit and we're going to be able to apply damage if by any means you use the visibility channel make sure your visibility channel is blocked as i'm not using it i'm going to leave it as in your so when this is done, we're going to our event graph. And here we only have one thing. So we're going to go all the way down and we're going to create a custom event. And this custom event will be our depth. And it's going to be very, very simple. We're just going to take that and destroy our actor. We'll be able to expand on this later, obviously. But for now, just to make sure our code is working. So when our AI is going to get damage, so receive damage, we need to search for any damage. So we're going to use the event any damage. And every time that the AI is going to get damage, it's going to be this will get execute. So the damage type that we need here we need a value here and you can see that it's green so we need a float value so what we're going to do we're going to create a new variable i'm going to call that health and make sure that the type is float and if you click on health here on the detail panel we're going to put that other under the category vital so everything in relation to health and anything like this for npc will be right there from this, we're going to start doing the code to have our AI receive damage. So first, we're going to all be on our keyboard to their branch. We're going to make sure we connect event any damage to our branch. And here we need to feed the damage that we receive. So how we're going to do this? Well, we're going to drive from this and we're going to search for subtract. And we're going to leave the subtract right there. However, we're just going to it reverse the pin right here like this so the damage here will be our elt so we're going to drive elt on this so every time we receive damage it's going to subtract that from our elt here the condition will be very simple we're going to search for less or equal and once again it's going to be our elt so we're going to plug elt here and our health need to be equal to zero. So if it's less or equal to zero, it's mean it's true. So from that, we're gonna be able to call our debt function. If it's not true, we want to remove some health. So from false, we're gonna get our health and we're just gonna drop it on the top so we can set it. And we're gonna connect our health to our minus here, our subtraction. From this, we're gonna once again we're gonna drive from the node here and we're gonna search for less or equal. 
and the condition would be a branch. So we're going to hold B on our keyboard to do a branch. And we're going to connect all of it together. And the logic is that if it's true this time, we're going to call that. And if it's not true, well, we're going to do other stuff. But for now, we're just going to put the print string. And we're going to connect the string to our set health right here. So we can see how much health our enemy has. So if we review the code, every time we're going to shoot at our AI, the damage will go through this. It's going to take our health minus the damage. If it's equal to zero, our AI is going to die. If it's not equal to zero, for example, has 100 health and go to 90, it's going to be false. So it's going to go to here. It's going to set that health value to the new number, which is going to be 80 or 90 or whatever the value will be. If it's less or equal, we're going to go to our bird branch. And if it's set to zero at this time and it's going to kill our AI, if it's not true, well, it's just going to print the number on the screen. And if we shoot again, it's going to go over that code once again. So now we do have the code for damaging our AI. So you're going to compile this. Now we need a way to do that damage. So we need to tell the game. Remember, we're speaking about the line trace. So from our character here, our first person character, we're going to go to our event graph. And as you can see here, we have our line trace. So if we go all the way down here, we have our line trace. And after the line trace, we're going to push our bullet impact force away. And I'm going to apply our damage. So just search for apply damage. And we're going to connect the damage actor to our hit actor. And the base damage need to be from our weapons. So we're going to take the reference to our weapon masterclass that you should have here under the category reference. So weapon masterclass. From that, you're going to search for weapon damage. And you're going to plug this right to the base damage. So now it's going to take the weapon master class with the weapon damage that we have for each of them. And it's going to be the damage that we are doing right there. The damage closer will be our weapon master class. So if I move that, so make sure you can see. So the damage closer is plugged directly to our weapon damage. And now you're just going to put our apply damage to our bullet force impact that we have right here. And important, the line trace need to be the channel camera, as I was explaining at the beginning, unless you use the visibility channel, right? So we're going to make sure that we have camera right here. Now we shall be ready to test this out. So let's play. We're going to take our sniper rifle. This is a one shot kill. We're going to search for the AI. As you can see, the AI is gone. And you can see here, we have a problem. So we have an access node trying to reprobate the hit company. So we're going to fix that issue. Very, very simple to fix. So we're going to go back to our first person character. And under the get bullet impact force, we're going to double click. And from our bullet here, we're going to search for is valid with the one with the question mark. Going to make sure that we hit component to our object here and we should have fixed that problem. So we're going to compile and save. So we're going to do play now and try this out again. Take the sniper rifle, hit our AI if I can find him, die again. And now there's no more error. So we fix our error. So it's exactly what we wanted. So if we do play again and we take our assault rifle so we can see the damage on the screen. You can see I killed the AI right away. So there's a problem here. The first step is going to verify that our assault rifle under damage has the good number. So we have 10. So we didn't put any number by mistake. And the second step is going to our alt variable to our NPC and verify that this value is set to something. So we have zero here. So we're going to take 100. And now if we compile and try this out again, we should be 
good to go. So we're going to take the assault rifle. I'm going to search for our AI. That is over there. You can see that now it's not dying. It's mostly the enemy see the damage in the top corner. So as you can see here, we have a mobility problem when we're shooting on the walls. So it's saying that we have to set that object to movable. So if we take our walls, and you can see here we have mobility static. So if we put our walls to movable, so we're going to do the same thing with all of them. We're going to change that to movable and the floor as well. Now if we compile and try this out and shoot on the walls, we can see that we have no more error for our mobility. So we fix our mobility issue when we shoot with our weapon. We are able to do damage to our AI and destroy it when the health reach zero. All of that using the damage from our weapon. So that's pretty much this for this video. So I will catch you on the next one. And thank you for watching.